low chest pants and especially the uh, Pinoy chest pants of Wesley. So I have not been able to uh, make the coverage as the, at the start of the game, but we, we see here that uh, Wesley won the game against uh, uh, Anishigiri and Wesley was black here and let's go to the starting position and it was e4 by Anish and because of this uh, win by Wesley he has shown his mastery over Anish in this tournament so again Wesley as a the French defense and we have the win over variation here being essayed by uh, Giri uh, which uh, Wesley accepted uh, by moving his bishop to, D, to b4 and let's just uh, play through the move so that we see how Wesley was able to convert his win okay this is uh, I think pretty standard here so because the uh, d3 bishop or the light squared bishop of uh, Anish or white in this case which was exchanged by the light squared bishop of black in this French defense uh, it seems that uh, black would not be able to make a very strong attack against uh, the black king in this French defense because uh, the light squared bishop of white is usually very important against the French defense in order to make a strong attack against the black king So still, uh, in this case, uh, Black should be careful uh, when he is uh, countering on the queen side that he would still be watching any form of uh, counterplay that uh, <coughs> or attack would, that White would launch on the king side. So the play here is that uh, White attacks on the king side and uh, Black uh, counters on the queen side as in this case uh, as shown here. So in this, uh, after moving to queen g3, uh, Anish is threatening uh, bishop takes h6. So the reason that, that he moved the knight to h4 so that if knight f5, then he could just take the knight. So that's the correct move here, just moving your king to f8 to get away from the uh, play, uh, to get away from the line of fire. So check. Check again. And here Wesley is willing to sacrifice the d7 knight because he can recover uh, the sacrifice piece with uh, g5 because the knight at h4 is pinned. Okay, he is able to exchange the queen also. So, uh, he's, he, if we go back, we can see that he made the move h5 so that if Anish would take that pawn and then the knight at e7 would be able to go to the f5 square which is a good square for the knight. So let's see how Wesley was able to convert this. Check. So it seems that one of the reasons is uh, here Anish is in extreme time pressure towards the end of the game. And we have here a one pawn up by Wesley. 
Okay, he did not uh, made the He did not made the move Rook G4 So he is now two pawns down So check So uh, Wesley is really winning in the end game here. This is just a matter of technical uh, execution, and there is nothing that Anish could really do against this position. But let's see how it was fully converted by Wesley. So this is the final uh, position here, and because the king is able to rejoin uh, the other pieces here and the pawns, this is already a. Uh, complete win for Wesley. So thanks for watching this video.